Hey guys, just before this video starts, I know I said I didn't want to mention it again, but I wanted to say a quick shout out to X Asmer, and he actually posted on the RuneScape forums about me getting hacked, and uh, there was a JMod response, and they said they're actually taking action against the third party that was on my account, and took all my stuff. It would actually be kind of good to know exactly what they're going to do about it, but um, I guess they're going to keep that to themselves. And when I was logging into RuneScape today, I actually had a message in my inbox, and I checked it. And it was from a JMod saying they detected a third party on my account. And they just said basically that they don't do any sort of rollbacks or returning items or anything like that. And I mean, I didn't even tell Jagex that my account was hacked. So I'm assuming it's thanks to this guy. So uh, thanks to X Asmer if you're watching. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core, And welcome to day two of my money making guide week. And uh, today I tried something completely different. It was a, a money making method I've never tried before. And it's turned out to be pretty good, so I'm making this guide to show you guys how it, how to do it. It does, however, have some tricky requirements. You'll need to have completed a Clockwork Syringe quest, and that has some hard requirements to start it, and many other prerequisite quests to start those. You'll also need 43 prayer to use Protect from Melee. And I'll go over the equipment first. So you'll need the Fishbowl Helmet and the Diving Apparatus. Um, you can't even enter the dungeon without them. Uh, around my neck I've got the Glory, or you can use the Fury. I'm a little bit poor at the moment, so I can't uh, quite afford the Fury. For your weapon, you want a Brackish Blade. It's the most effective weapon against these creatures. It's even better than Chaotix. It's the best weapon against these crabs. And uh, I've just got a uh, Dragon Defender. And I'm using a Prayer Bonus outfit, so I've got the just the Proselyte uh, top and legs. And um, lastly, I've just got the, the Barrel's Gloves and the Dragon Boots. And I've also got a Ring of Wealth. It's really important to have the Ring of Wealth. It not only increases your chances of getting some rare drops, you also can't get the Vecna Skull without wearing a Ring of Wealth, so it's absolutely necessary to have one of these. And with the inventory, you'll need around 2 to 4 prayer renewals and overloads. And if you don't have a high enough herbal level to make these, uh, you can use extremes or even supers would do. You need an Ectophil for getting there in the first place the pirate spell sheet that you should still have from the quest if you've not dropped it, I had to get it again. Uh, you can get it from the basement on uh, Most of the Harmless. And it just basically provides quick teleports between the dungeon and the bank. A uh, holy wrench to get more uh, doses from your prayer pots. Uh, bone crusher, basically just because I need prayer, uh, prayer experience and it makes the drops a little easier to see as well. And you'll notice I've got a lot of food here, this is uh, for um, luring the monsters. So um, once I've got, once you've got the the monsters lured, you can bank and take and swap the uh, the food for prayer pots because uh, once they're lured, you're not going to be getting hit at all because you're going to be praying for melee. So without further ado, I'll show you guys how to get there. You first of all want to teleport with your ectophil, and you will appear right here next to the ectofungus, and you want to run north east, and you'll see a little a little dock, and you want to talk to um, pirate Pete, and he will. Hit you over the head and take you to Brain Death Island, which is where the the crabs are. And the great thing about this method is once you once you lure it, it's a little bit tricky to lure at the start, but once you have it, I mean it's there for good, and you can you can even go bank, you can log out, and they'll still be lured. And uh, I think it's within about 24 hours, so you can even like go to sleep at night, get up in the morning, and they'll still be lured, at, um, as long as nobody else has crashed them, I guess. So once you get out of uh, down the stairs, you want to run west through the zombies and over to the coast side of the island. And you'll see a sort of a <laughs> half a man, 50% look here, and you want to go through this gate. You need to distract them just as you open it. And keep running north. And it should be just up here. And when you're up here, you just want to enter the dungeon. But before you do, um, if you want to get your protect from melee on, you're going to get hit quite a lot. And make sure you're ready, because uh, even though you're praying melee, the rangers are going to hit you with range. And they're the ones you want to lure. So these crabs are the ones that hit you with melee. And they're the ones we want to be killing. But there are a few pesky rangers. And have they already been lured in this world? So these guys, the generals look like they've possibly already been lured. I'm going to bring them up here. I'm going to take my auto retali off just so I don't kill them. And what I want to do is uh, I want to keep these rangers, all three of them, in this room. So what I can do 
is uh, close this door here. And I want to kill the remaining uh, rum pumped crabs that are in here so that they respawn outside of here. And it's just going to be the three ragers that are trapped in here. And then I can go in this room and camp them out. And I won't need to worry about, um, you know, I can just completely AFK. I don't need to worry about these guys attacking me at all. So I'm just going to watch my health. I'm going to take it as a prayer renewal actually. Set my turmoil on. Oh, I'm going to take an overload. I just need to kill these two crabs, and I should be good. And, uh, I've got an emerald. I'm just going to double check that it's just these one, two, three guys in there. Alright, perfect. And uh, once I kill this guy, this crab, I can safely go back through and close the door. And that's them successfully lured, and they will stay in there. Um, oh, I missed a couple of crabs in there. And uh, the best spot to do, I'm actually going to get those two crabs. Make sure none more come in. So I'm going to grab these two crabs here and take my anti-poison. Get in and close the door. And that should be them lured. So I'm going to go through here. And the best place to, to camp them is just sort of in between these two rooms here as they spawn. I'm going to stick auto retaliate back on. And wow, just hit <laughs> pretty high with that spec attack. So basically this is it, you can AFK right here. Um, when you need to bank, all you need to do is just go outside uh, and just uh, use your spell sheet to go to um, Harmless and bank and then you can use it straight away to go back to, to Brain Dead Island to come back here. So it's really easy to, to bank. And obviously once I've used these prayer pots, I'm going to go back and... Uh, I obviously won't need food since those rangers are already already lured. So I've been killing them for about 40 minutes. I'll do a quick price check on uh, the stuff. Uh, i got some herbs, uh, some gems, uh, some gold. And uh, one brackish blade, which I was pretty happy with. And so, I mean, right there, that's... Uh, I mean, the Brackish Blade makes up most of it, but uh, I'm going to head to the bank and continue killing them for another 20 minutes to get an accurate ex uh, cash gain per hour. And I'll show you guys how to bank as well. So you just want to, you, you have to run down a lot here a little bit before you can teleport. You want to use your pirate spell sheet and head to brain, oh, the harmless teleport. Let's go down a little bit further actually. Can I do it here? Ah, uh, there we go. So he hits you over the head and then takes you to the Harmless Island and you just run north to the bank. And I'm going to just grab a whole, whole of the prayer pots. So to get back there all you want to do is just use your uh, spell sheet again and head to Brain Death Teleport. And uh, that guy will appear, hit you over the head and take you to the same places where you'd appear after you use the, the Ectophil. So uh, you just go through this building downstairs and back along to the, the dungeon. So after that clip, I sadly didn't get another Brackish Blade, but I did get a, a, a whole load of Adamant Ore. I'm just going to do a quick price check. I got a lot of uh, Rune Claws as well, actually. And, uh, wow, that's nearly the price of a, a Brackish Blade right there. So, uh, yeah, it was a, a pretty good money-making method. A little annoying at first to set up the... Um, to, to lure the Rangers into that other room, but once that's set up, it really is a pretty solid money-maker. And uh, it's actually really worth picking up the, the coins that you get as drops as well, because some of those coin drops, I mean, were 1.5k right there. And, uh, I mean, the least you had was like 500 GP, so it's still still worth taking those coins. They go straight into your money pouch, so it's not taking up inventory space. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could just take a second to hit the like button, uh, it's only one click, and uh, it really helps me out a lot. And it, I've really put a lot of effort into making these guides. You know, it's not just uh, I'm making like a vlog, I'm really putting the effort in to make these like uh, money make proper money making guides. So if you guys could show some love in the video in return, that'd be awesome. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.